There are two questions that we get all the time. Okay, Number one, is it always God's will to heal the sick? Right? Now, see, most of you would say yes, and you would agree, and you know, and you know, you've been around long enough. But there are people that would say yes because it's in their statement of faith, but then they've got reasons why not. Well, what about this time? Well, what about that time? No, no. And so they always come up with reasons why not. Now, so first off, uh, the answer, as you just said, is yes, it is always God's will to heal the sick. Now, we could also say God is always willing to heal the sick. Smith Wigglesworth said, God is more willing to give than we are to ask. You can't find one incident in Jesus' life where he refused to heal someone. Not one, right? So his will shouldn't even be considered in this in the sense of it possibly not being his will. Now, Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 says, And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, now watch, saying, I will be thou clean. Now, he didn't just say, I will. That's the King James translation. Okay. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And I'm going to read the same thing from actually from the Weiss translation. It says, and having come down from the mountain, great crowds followed with him. And behold, a leper having come fell upon his knees and touched the ground with his forehead in an expression of profound reverence before him, saying, Master, in the event that you may be having a heartfelt desire, you are able to cleanse me. And having stretched out his hand, he touched him, saying, I am desiring it from all my heart. Be cleansed at once. Now, that's the, that was the Weiss translation, which is the closest translation we have available uh, to the original Greek. Now, the actual literal Greek, even more literal going word by word, is this. I am willing because it is my nature and my innermost desire to always be healing. That's when he said, I will, the word will, that's the full definition of that word. If people, if we read Greek... The question of whether it was God's will to heal wouldn't even be a question anymore. But because it was translated into English and translated very weakly, to be honest with you, it was translated very weakly into English, then we don't have that anymore, right? We don't see that, right? Now, notice, it means it's number 2309 in the Strong's Concordance for the word will. It's the word thelo. It means to determine. Now, listen to this to determine as an active option. In other words, Jesus chose this word to use, Thelo. He could have chosen another word. There are other words to say, I'll do it. But he specifically chose this word because this word expressed his heart and nature. Once and for all, settling the fact of whether Jesus was willing to heal. Because even the tenses used in this means that this is an ongoing nature and, as I would say, feeling, but I don't really like that word necessarily because Jesus wasn't going by a feeling. But it was his nature and character, and it was ongoing based on the tenses of this word. So, see, this is why I'm so adamant about this. Why? Because I've, I've done the research. I've done the studies. I've spent the last 40 years going through these things, looking at these words, breaking them down, looking at them, seeing what's said about them, and then putting them into practice and watching them work. That's why I'm as strong in this as I am. Why? Because I've spent the time convincing myself, being fully persuaded of God's will to heal and his ability. Right? Now, I will tell you, I'm no different than any other person. I don't claim any kind of special gift. I don't claim any of that kind of stuff necessarily. The only special gift I got, you got, is called the Holy Spirit. And he's the one that actually does the work, and I just take him around and let him do what he wants to do. Amen? And just let him out, and I get to watch. Just like with the pictures, right? Now, it says here, it means uh, to determine as an active option, to choose or prefer, to wish, to be inclined to, to be about to do something, to delight in something. And Jesus saith unto him, See thou tell no man. But go thy way, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Now notice he said, tell no man. So he wasn't doing this to show he was God. 
he was doing this because the man needed healing. If he was doing it to show he was God, he would have said, yep, see that? Go tell everybody. But he didn't do that. He said, don't tell anybody. Why? Because it would have hastened them coming after him, basically. But he said, don't tell anybody. Go show the, show the priest and make the offering that Moses required. Why? As a testimony. In other words, and the Bible later on says, and even says in Acts, but also says in John, that many of the priests believed on him. Now, it doesn't say that necessarily about the, well, some of the Pharisees did, not many, but some did, but it says that many of the priests, why? Because they were the ones seeing the evidence of what Jesus had done. The Pharisees didn't see it, and even when they did, they were so religiously blind, they still didn't see it. So, he said, <clears throat> now watch this, and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus saith, notice it doesn't say, and Jesus answered. He saith. What does that mean? That means that he interrupted him and said in the middle of it. He didn't answer him after the man stopped talking. He said unto him, I will come and heal him. He did not say, wait, let me pray, see what the Father's will is. He said, I will come and heal him. He didn't say, wait, let me pray, and let's see what God wants to do. He didn't say, wait, let's pray, see what God wants to do, and I'll come do my best and try. He said, I will come and heal him. End of story. There was no question about it in Jesus' mind, right? Number one, Jesus jumped at the chance to go heal someone he didn't even know. Number two, Jesus didn't pray about going. Matter of fact, Jesus never prayed about healing uh, any person. He never prayed about raising any dead person. He never prayed about casting out any devil. Why? That's what he was sent to do. 